hello everyone in this video we are continuing a series on abdominal pain in pregnancy in this video we will particularly talk about obstetric causes in late pregnancy and when we say late pregnancy it means it is late either late second trimester or third trimester now let's start with the round ligament pain it is very common the patient comes to you with bilateral stitch like pain and this is very common thing you don't have to do anything just give or prescribe some analgesia and give the patient re uh, reassurance okay now the second comes is Braxton Hicks contraction Braxton Hicks contraction are tightening of the uterus it either it may be painful or it may be painless okay but when you do uh, when you see them uh, when you uh, examine the vaginally cervical dilation is not there so you must do a vaginal examination if cervical dilation is not there there is nothing to do anything so give just reassurance many a times Braxton Hicks contraction converts into a labor it may be a preterm labor or it may be a normal labor the labor uh, uh, is uh, symptomized with painful contraction painful regular contractions what you do you do a vaginal examination you confirm the reports you do a CTG to see the baby condition and if the preterm preterm pain is there then you consider tocolysis and steroids okay so there is different lectures there is different uh, video you can see for that go for that now the third thing is very important and very serious that is placental abruption what is placental abruption placenta abrupts or placenta separates from the uterine wall so it may be either it may be uh, in case of placenta previa or it may be in case of <coughs> abruption of placenta particularly so how how the patient presents to you is a, the patient has a constant pain Okay, the pain is constant, bleeding PV might be there or it might not be there. When you palpate the uterus or per, uh, perform a parabdominal examination, the uterus is very rigid. It is not soft, even in between contraction. Obviously, in contraction, uterus, uterus is going to be rigid, but between the contraction, uterus is again rigid. You might not be feel the parts of fetus. What's problem here is because there is a problem with uh, 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 fetal assessment. So you must palpate or you must uh, go for fetal assessment via CTG and an ultrasound. Okay, this is the very emergency condition. What you do is uh, just take the patient for delivery, either CS or normal or induction. Okay resuscitation must be there arrangement of bloods must be there there is a separate video again all the causes have a separate videos on my channel kindly go for that then comes another problem is preeclampsia what is preeclampsia is increased bp in the pregnancy so if the patient comes with preeclampsia you should go for the bp the blood pressure you should go for the signs of eclampsia you should go for urine proteins so this pain also happens like epigastric pain right upper quadrant pain so the pain of preeclampsia is unique in terms of obstetric causes of pregnancy because most of the pains are lower abdominal pain but but the pain of preeclampsia is usually epigastric so this separates it from other problems okay what you do in this case you will follow the rule of preeclampsia you will go for urine protein blood pressure see the signs of preeclampsia complete blood count see the liver function see the kidney function and assess the baby whether the baby is in any problem or not and if it is there you must go for induction of labor or delivery whatever it needs okay now the fifth case is polyhydromnios so polyhydromnios is also a cause of pain but this kind of patient you will easily identify because these patient have a distended abdomen 
tight and distended abdomen tight abdomen was always there in where placental abduction but you will feel the rigid uh, rigid uterus but here the uterus is not rigid it is actually tight just like if you have uh, uh, filled a balloon with a water with high pressure this kind of floating abdomen you will find there is very difficulty in filling the fetal parts even when you examine for fetal uh, heart sound it is very difficult to get the fetal heart sound again most of the time the first investigation should go for ultrasound so it will identify whether it is a polyabdominosis or not whether the baby is okay or not so it will uh, it will make your life easy whenever you go for ultrasound in obstetrics okay so again see the cause what is the cause and go for the treatment particular you can also uh, do amniotic drainage if once a very very good amount of amniotic fluid is there so you can go for amniotic drainage so we have separate video on that kindly go for that again adnexal torsion adnexal torsion is also common in this uh, in this uh, uh, time the twisting pain peritonism is there color doppler with ultrasound will be doing the diagnosis you must correct the adnexal torsion as soon as possible have taken the either by laparoscopically or by laparotomy analgesia should be given a very important cause and very very frequently asked the cause but which is not very common is fibroid degeneration it is a red degeneration of fibroid whenever there is a bigger fibroids uh, bigger size of fibroids along with the pregnancy there are chances of that fibroid getting lesser and lesser blood supply so it will uh, uh, there will be causing ischemia so this will cause the fibroid degeneration and this will cause a sudden pain constant localized pain over one fibroid because of it involves the peritoneum ultrasound generally confirms the diagnosis degenerative cystic changes may be seen in the fibroid so you may find out fluid levels on ultrasound in particular fibroids analgesia is sufficient no need to go for any surgery or any other things now comes the uterine rupture uterine rupture is a very serious thing very 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 serious thing this diagnosis is rare but still you should have this diagnosis in your mind like ectopic pregnancy because this can cause the mortality remember the pain will be sudden onset constant pain hemodynamic collapse that means the bp will be very very uh, low the pulse will be higher rate vaginal bleeding can be seen hematuria can be seen when you do ultrasound you will see that the bleeding inside the abdominal cavity what you do a very emergency condition you arrange for the bloods you go for surgery immediately okay now comes the another diagnosis that is acute fatty liver why the fatty liver happens in pregnancy because because of the higher amount of estrogens steroids will do the acute fatty liver so whenever the fatty liver is present the pain will be again epigastric right upper quadrant is but is like as is like as eclampsia pre eclampsia often associated with malaise nausea and vomiting jaundice can be there cannot be there ascites can be there cannot be there so what you do you do investigation so when once the epigastric pain is there you go for a whole pre eclampsia investigation the patient might have drnj lfts hypoglycemia hyperuricemia so you have to see for that higher amount of investigation is required like mri of liver okay what to do termination of the pregnancy is the thing but again you have to wait do a weightage of risk and advantage ratio so depending on that you should go for either delivery of the baby or 
uh, wait for amount wait for some two days that the steroid can take over the baby's lung function so it is all the things should be there i think we, i have a separate video in acute fatty liver also see for that another very another common but very uh, uh, easily managed causes of abdominal pain is urinary retention patient comes to you that the patient comes to you with uh, urinary retention since a day i think when you when you examine the patient you will definitely feel and the palpable bladder on the supra pubic space what you do catheterize the patient converse converse uh, conservative management is the only thing what you do you just keep the patient catheterized for some days if the problem arises frequently and when you just uh, uh, when everything is okay you have to take out the catheter but with clamping and declamping priming okay now the sixth thing is physiological obstruction of ureters because of the increasing size of the uterus sometimes the ureters may be uh, uh, blocked or obstructed so this will do what a stone kind of pain that is renal angle tenderness whenever there is a stone also there happens a renal angle pain and when there were obstruction of ureter is there it can be a pain okay ultrasound should be performed and you should go for abdominal ultrasound by radiologist so that he can see or he or she can see the kidney function or the pelvis size of the kidney to rule out the dilation pelvic dilation okay usually this kind of problem is conservatively managed <clears throat> the seventh thing is chorioamnioitis chorioamnioitis is a very rare thing nowadays because of very uh, good protocols very good safety protocols are followed in the hospital the patient presents with you with with a history of ruptured of membrane since a long time the tender uterus offensive discharge is there systemic signs of sepsis is there usually preceded by ruptured membranes blood clots blood cultures you can go for ctg is very important to uh, to know the status of baby what you do once the chorioamnioitis happens you have only option to deliver the baby intravenous antibiotics is must now a rare case of cyst, uh, symphysis pubis dysfunction is there if this thing is there this is very uh, difficult to identify i think it is a diagnosis of exclusion kind of things supra pubic tenderness is there over the bone worse on the movement standing on the leg so whenever the bone pain is there you will find that the pain will be increasing or decreasing with the movement so this kind of problem can arise what you do you refer to the you refer to the physiotherapist or orthopedicians ninth cause is rectus abdominis rupture now this is a, i think a very 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 rare diagnosis nowadays because the multi pair up mothers are now constantly decreasing but when this kind of thin and lean multi pair and uh, over aged mothers come this diagnosis should be considered because there will be sudden onset usually precipitated by cough and vomiting the pain is very severe just like you trying rupture but the pain aggravates with the cough and vomiting this diagnosis of exclusion again analgesia should be provided urgent surgical exclusion should be done and the uh, rectus abdominis muscle should be staged up so this was i think all about obstetric causes of abdominal pain in late pregnancy thank you friends